Okay, it is 10.40 in the morning on Sunday, February 20th. And I'm out here in front of a Best Buy because I'm here to pre-order the Motorola Zoom tablet, the first Android 3.0 honeycomb tablet that's going to be available on Verizon. And in about 20 minutes, this store is going to open up and I'm going to pre-order it and I can pick it up on Thursday, this Thursday, February 24th. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'll have a full review up on my channel on YouTube here when I have this device in hand. All right, I got my pre-order in on this freezing morning here, and I'm gonna pick it up promptly at 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, February 24th. So I can't wait for that. So now I'm headed home, and why don't we go and take a look at the specs on the Motorola Zoom. All right, I just got back home. Today was the first day for pre-orders for the Motorola Zoom, and if you're unfamiliar with what it's all about, it is the first legitimate competitor to the iPad and it's the first Android 3.0 honeycomb device that's going to be released. It's made by Motorola and it has 3G through Verizon Wireless here in the United States. Uh, that will actually be bumped up to 4G in a couple of months and the upgrade is they actually have to do a physical upgrade. They have to put a, a new 4G radio into the tablet itself from what I understand. Uh, and that is a free upgrade sometime uh, in the late spring, early summer. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the device, this is what it looks like here. And we're just going to go over some of the features on it. So the first thing we're going to cover here, cameras and video. Now, it has a front-facing camera and a rear camera. So you can do Skype calls on it. I don't know if the apps are there yet, but you'll be able to do that. And you can take photos with it. The rear camera is 5 megapixels and it has an LED flash and digital zoom and it captures 720p HD video and it'll play it back over an HDMI through the device itself. Over here it covers a processor now it has a dual core Tegra 2 processor now there's a lot of devices coming out with Tegra 2 the Motorola Atrix I think is the first and uh, this might be the second device that's going to come out with it uh, it's clocked at 1 gigahertz per core, so you have two cores clocked at 1 gigahertz, and it has a GPU as well. It says here double the speed, double the power. Uh, it has advanced performance with superior graphics, faster downloads, and you can multitask with it. As with all Android devices, you can actually use Flash on it, so that would be one of the main differentiators between this and the iPad, along with the front-facing and rear camera. Although the iPad 2, I believe, is supposedly going to have the two cameras on it as well, or at least one camera on it, but that's yet to be announced. So let's go to the next thing here. The display on this is a 10.1 inch widescreen HD display, and which is a little different from the iPad. The iPad has a smaller display, and it's not widescreen formatted. You can play back your video in 720p HD, uh, the touch screen has pinched to zoom, just as you would expect from an Android device. And the resolution is 1280 by 800, and that's uh, 150 pixels per inch. The next thing here, it says Google Software. Like I said before, it's the first device that has Android 3.0 Honeycomb on it, which is the Android designed for tablets. Like I said, it's fully upgradable for the 4G which will be in a couple of months. Again, like I said, that's a free upgrade. And it says radical new floating multi-finger user interface, which I don't know too much about right now, but when I get the device, I'll let you know a little bit more about it. Up here, the last uh, bullet point here is flexibility. You can multitask on this device as you can on all Android devices. You can access various types of files. Uh, you can open, edit, save, and share documents. It's data encrypted for total security. You can check your email just as you'd expect, and it has one gigabyte of internal RAM, which is a big deal because most Android devices have a lot less than that. I think the only thing uh, that will match this currently is the Motorola Atrix, uh, the phone that's coming out actually tomorrow. 
so those are the bullet points on the actual Motorola Zoom device itself. One of the things that's going to be coming out soon for it is a video editing software, which Google just announced recently. So that's going to be interesting to use on the tablet. I know that uh, iOS has something similar. I haven't had a chance to use it, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works on the Motorola Zoom. And I'm actually, when I get my hands on that, I will actually produce a video on the device itself so you can see how it works. Now the accessories here, let's click on that and see what you can get for it. Seems like right now you can get a dock with a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, a regular dock, and a case slash stand over here. I don't know if I'm really going to be getting anything. If anything, I might be getting a dock. I don't think I'm going to need a uh, dock with a keyboard, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, it would be nice to have this sitting on my desk when I'm not using it, and then I could just pull it off and, and take off with it and put it in a bag. I'll probably have to get some sort of neoprene bag for it to protect it. Um, but this is really the only thing I think I might be getting right now. But I didn't pre-order any of it. I just pre-ordered the device itself. You got some videos here, which obviously it shows the uh, Super Bowl commercial, I think, here. And let's actually bring the audio down on this if I can. I don't know if I can, so let's just move on. I thought it was a cool ad that they had. Nothing spectacular, but I thought it was nice. Um, now the photos here are pretty much of the device itself. I'll just click through these so you can see. There's the front of it. And the one thing about this is that uh, the interface is a lot different than what you might expect or what you might be used to on an Android device. Widgets are very prominent here. And there's a lot of different interface. You, you have your back button, your home button, and then a I think a multitasking button here. Your menu button and your search button have been moved. The search is up in the upper left-hand corner up here, which includes a voice search. And the menu, I believe, is up in the upper right-hand corner, as well as your apps here. And then down here in the lower right-hand corner is where a lot of the notifications are going to come up. So it's sort of like a, a desktop experience, but uh, it has a lot of panels to it. And I'll show you this on Thursday when I actually have the device in hand. Here's another view of it and a side view of it. Looks pretty thin. And I like the fact that it's flat on the back. That way you can just lay it down flat and it's not going to jiggle or anything like that. You can just lay it down flat on a table or something. And here's the other side of it here. And it looks like here you have a, a volume rocker here on the upper, what would probably be the left-hand corner. So that is the Motorola Zoom. I'm excited to get it on Thursday. I'll have a full unboxing and review of it. Now tomorrow, here in the United States, it's President's Day, which is February 21st, 2011. Tomorrow is going to be a special day for my channel because I'm actually going to have a series of videos covering the Motorola Atrix phone. So this week is going to be pretty exciting for me. Not only am I going to get the Motorola Zoom on Thursday, but tomorrow I will have the Motorola Atrix in my hand. I'm going to do a whole series of videos. I'm going to do unboxings and first impressions and all that. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm actually switching over to AT&T. I was a T-Mobile customer because they were the first to have Android phones, so I jumped over from Verizon to them. But now I'm jumping over to AT&T because they have the basically the king of phones right now, which is the Motorola Atrix. It is the hottest spec-wise phone that you can get on the market. It is the first dual-core phone. Basically has the specs of the Motorola Zoom tablet inside of the phone. And if you haven't heard of it, you can actually use different docks with it, which would be a laptop dock and a regular dock, which you can use for your television, or you can actually use with a mouse and keyboard as a net top or desktop computer. I didn't get any of the docks. I'll cover that when I actually review the phone for you, why I chose not to get any of them. But the phone itself is incredible. It was codenamed Olympus, and there's probably a reason for that. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you tomorrow.